Greetings and we are delighted to be able to come to you at the beginning of a new week to spend each day, spend a few moments each day in the Word of God and in prayer with you. This is the beginning of uh, the week, uh, what's commonly known as the Passion Week, the week that leads up to Good Friday and then on to uh, Easter the following Sunday, the Resurrection Sunday. And so this week we are going to intentionally meditate and consider what Jesus accomplished for us on the cross. And so we will look at the provisions of the cross and each day we will focus on one of the many provisions that Jesus made available to us through the work he finished for us on the cross. Many of these things are familiar to us, but it's always good to be reminded to go back, sometimes just go back to the very basics and remind ourselves that this is what Jesus accomplished for us on the cross. We know that when Jesus died on the cross, he took, on him, took upon himself our sins. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 53 and verse 6, all we like sheep have gone astray. Each one of us have turned to his own sinful way. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Lord has laid upon him, Jesus, all our sins. And over in the New Testament, in 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 21, the Apostle Paul writes, he says, He became sin so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So Jesus on the cross took upon himself our sins. He became our sin so that we could be forgiven. So one of the greatest provisions of the cross, which we all know and are aware of, is the forgiveness of our sins because Jesus Christ paid the penalty of our sins on the cross. But what I want to remind us is forgiveness is not just sins being washed away, sins just being, okay, I'm forgiven, you've done wrong, you're a guilty person, I'm just not holding those wrong against you. Forgiveness is something bigger than just having those wrongs taken away from your name. The Bible tells us that we are washed, we are justified, and we are made righteous. So to be forgiven means to be washed, to be justified, and to be made righteous. It's all inclusive. And let's think about those three components of forgiveness, if you will. To be washed means the stain of sin is no longer on us. The dirt, the filth of sin has been taken away. In the Old Testament, in Isaiah 1, the Lord says, though your sins be as scarlet, they will be as white as wool, as white as snow, meaning it's all gone. You're washed, but you, we are also justified. That means, he says, you're free from all guilt. You're completely clear. There's no sense of shame, condemnation. You're guiltless. And then you're made righteous. That means you're right standing before God. And you're standing before God with His righteousness on you. That means you have a right to be in His presence. So forgiveness is being washed. It's being justified. It's being made righteous. And that is available to you and me through the cross of Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for what you've done for us on the cross. We receive, God, forgiveness, which is us being washed clean, justified in the eyes of God, and made completely righteous in his sight. And that's who we are, forgiven. Thank you for it, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.